In this video, we're going to discuss how to slap your code. In other words, how to apply the single level of abstraction principle. This principle was explained by many authors of software development literature, but probably the one that most programmers remember hitting him from is Robert Martin in his popular book, Clean Code. Most software developers recognize that methods in their code shouldn't span hundreds of line of code. That's one of the few coding principles that we developers have a broad consensus about. However, when it comes to actually specifying how long methods should be, this fragile consensus breaks apart. Some say that methods should fit onto a single screen, others cap the number of lines with a specific number, cognition-oriented developers suggest that methods should be short enough to fit into your head, and there are more other approaches. First, let's talk about abstraction. Abstraction is something that hides irrelevant information. This definition might sound totally unpractical, so let me demonstrate what abstraction do with a simple analogy. When you interact with your computer, you use a screen, a keyboard, a mouse, an operating system, applications, and other peripherals. You don't care about plastics, glass, capacitors, chips, fans, etc and you surely don't care about transistors. All of these lower level details, as important as they are for a functioning computer, are irrelevant when you work or play games. In this example, the external I.O. devices of your computer, as well as its external physical body, are abstractions. They hide most of the lower level details from you and expose the minimum amount of information and features that let you use your computer. Think about this, if we'd need to comprehend even 1% of the complexity of our computers before we could use them, most people wouldn't be able to write even a single line of text. Therefore, abstraction aren't optional or second-class constructs, they are a mandatory tools. Source code also leverages the power of abstractions. A class, for example, hides most of its complexity from the outside world and exposes a simple set of features in the form of its public API. So, a class is an abstraction, but methods are abstractions too, as they hide most of their complexity as well, and source code by itself is an abstraction, because it allows you to use statements like if or for without dealing with instructions, program counters, and registers. The idea behind the single level of abstraction principle is that all code inside the method should be at the same level of abstraction. This way, it is easier to read and understand the code. If code is expressed with different levels of abstraction within the same method, this could result in confusion and difficulty understanding. So in other words, mixing different levels of abstraction in one same method can make it harder to read and understand. We should always try to keep the code inside our method at the same level of abstraction. It's also important to mention that respecting the slap does not necessarily mean that your code will be shorter, it just means that it will be easier to read. This principle, even if it doesn't seem like much, it's extremely important because there is a very tight relationship between readability and maintainability. Even if this principle is easy to understand and apply, Yet, some programmers don't follow it. But why? Well, I came to the conclusion that the reason why some programmers don't follow it, it's because they feel lazy to refactor. And also, once they implement a feature, they think they will not return to that part of the code anymore. But it's not until they return to look at the code that they didn't write, or that they wrote long ago, that they sense why slap is important. The computer scientist Dijkstra in the 1970s first time mentioned the concept of separation of concerns in a publication about scientific thought. Without going into too much detail, the idea of separating the different aspects of a problem allows the scientists to solve one problem at a time and eases the process of reasoning. So as you can see, there is a relation between Dijkstra's separation of concerns and the modern slap principle. The boring theory is over. Now let's have a look a little bit of code. Please briefly look at this bit of code, but not for too long because it's an abomination. Your eyes may hurt. 
let's say we have a method to validate a string. This validation consists in checking if the string begins with a vowel and at least contains a number and have a length strictly higher than 5. Also, those variables are trying to express some more abstract concepts, but they are mixed with the low-level implementation detail. We will now show a little bit of code that hides the detail, pushing the complexity to a different level of abstraction and leaving in the method something that at least can be read. Now it's easier to understand what the method is doing because the code inside it is at the same level of abstraction. Now each method has a specific purpose and even each method could be tested independently. Single level of abstraction principle is exceptionally powerful heuristic for writing clean code. It leads to simpler, more readable, more and more reusable code while also freeing you from thinking about the length of your methods. The benefits of SLAP become even more pronounced when you refactor legacy code because SLAP guides you toward many small incremental refactorings that you can easily implement. These small steps will lead you to compound interest over time and can turn into major architectural improvements. When you just start using SLAP, you will need to invest energy and attention to apply it when you write code. However, after a while, this process will become automated and you will start writing cleaner code without any additional effort. So I highly recommend that you start using single level of abstraction principle right now and stick to it going forward. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the bell for more interesting contents and thanks for watching.